guys, how's it going? It's Mario Armani from Armani Realty and I'm here with Jeff. He is the owner and seller of 26 Moro Vista in Stouffville. And this is another episode of Realtor in the Hot Seat where we're gonna turn the power over to Jeff. He's gonna ask me some questions. I have absolutely no idea what he wants to ask me. So hopefully Jeff doesn't beat me up too bad and embarrass me, but here we go. So Jeff, thank you very much, first of all, for being part of the video and uh, putting up with this crazy idea. So floor is yours, what are you gonna ask me? My first question to you is, what do you think your competitive advantage is as a real estate agent? Uh, definitely a great question. I And hopefully you agree with me, but I feel that my competitive advantage is that I would do anything necessary in order for you to sell your house. So while we had the process going on, um, we needed people to come in here and fix things, do things, and you already saw very quickly. I called one person, called the other person, and we just made it all happen. Um, I really believe in that, in the strategy of you have to do anything possible that's going to be to the best advantage of the home. And at the end of the day, you have to give yourself the biggest opportunity to try to sell that home. And if you don't do everything possible, you're never, you're never going to get that. Okay. So, I mean, obviously in our case, we had to do a lot of renovations. And as you already said, you were extremely involved in the renovations yes. and you seem to know all these different contractors and were able to use your negotiating skills to get the best possible price. Yes. Really my question to you is how the heck Sorry, you... by the way, to all the contractors that did the, <laughs> did the work for a lot cheaper than expected, but I'm, I'm very thankful. And I'm so happy. is Jeff. I'm happy. Yeah, Jeff's happy. <laughs> My question really is, how the heck do you know all these people? I mean, it's simple, you you build relationships with people. Um, you only work with the best. I'm not gonna bring, let's say, if I brought in a painter, I'm not gonna use a painter that I know is not gonna do a good job, just despite that we need, let's say, a cheaper price. I'm gonna bring somebody who's gonna come in there and, and, and do it at a, at a fair price and do good quality work. But most importantly, because you're consistently using these people in your network, they're able to cater to you, right? So they're able to come in short notice because they know you need it. They're able to deliver at an affordable price and this in turn helps out the seller it helps out myself and it works out overall for everybody okay that's cool one question and, and, and try to really try to embarrass me here come on you're asking me great questions but you're being very nice I feel <laughs> one more question let's go last one all right so obviously throughout this process I mean from the beginning of the renovation through to the completion of the sale was probably about four months or so, or yes. maybe four and a half months. So we had literally hundreds and hundreds of communications. And yes. whenever I'd send you a communication, you respond very quickly. So my question is, how do you manage to balance your, your home and your work life <laughs> responding to clients like me all the time? Um, so in regards to you, I enjoyed everything because the construction aspect of real estate, um, it was really something that uh, I loved. Um, one of my pitches kind of to you was that because you had your house listed with a couple other realtors that I wanted to take this on as a personal challenge to sell the house. So the communications and all that, it, it, it didn't really feel like work. It, it just felt like I was doing what I needed to do as part of the team, which I was part of the team obviously, but I just, like I, it didn't feel like work, so it didn't really bother me. Now on the other side, when I was attending to you so many times, my poor wife, she's like, what are you doing? This and that, the other. And that's kind of the biggest challenge that I face. Um, definitely hard to balance. And it's just, I guess it's part of the job, but the reason why uh, it didn't really feel like a job is because I was so passionate about this particular deal. Like I do deals all the time, but this was a deal that like I was, I, 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 I was vested in this deal. Like it was, it was more than just a a transaction for me it was a personal challenge and uh, I'm really glad I could deliver for you guys and then you guys can now move to the next chapter of your life well thank you we actually really do appreciate that thank and you. I could definitely tell throughout the process that you truly really did want to get this, the property sold for us it wasn't yes. just about a commission for you and I yes. think that that attitude really permeated through our whole conversations and I felt that it truly was genuine and, and we really appreciate it. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, I really appreciate you guys for giving me the opportunity. I also wanna thank Sarika from Lux Home Staging. She was also kind enough to recommend and refer Jeff and I'm glad that I was able to make her look good. Uh, thank you, Sarika. <laughs> thanks, Sarika. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Again, Jeff, thank you so much for being part of this crazy video and uh, there it is, guys. You guys got to see what an actual seller uh, felt during the transaction he was able to ask me some questions and uh, here we go so until next time thank you so much